All right, we're on our way into a Democratic caucus location here in downtown Des Moines. We just ran into an undecided voter. <laughs> yes. Sir, what's your caucus name? Caucus goer, actually. Christopher Kennedy. <laughs> Christopher Kennedy. Uh, you're going to the Democratic caucus. Correct. And who are you thinking about caucusing for? I don't know yet. It's you all, don't know yet. I'm all undecided still. Hello, what's your name? My name is Aaron. Aaron, who are you coxing for tonight? Tonight I'll be coxing for Hillary Clinton. Ah. Okay, so we're inside the caucus location right now. It is packed. It's about 6.20. And there are a lot of caucus goers here tonight. Excuse me, sir. Are you are you supporting Obama tonight in the caucuses? I am, yeah. And you're helping other people uh, set up. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it's easy to wow. we're, we're, yeah. we're actually doing it for a, a video for YouTube right now. Okay. Why are you coxing for Obama? Are you kidding? Yeah, no. I'm, what else would we caucus for? Obama's the man of change. And now, and th tell me. Now, your job, your job right here is people come in this door, and then what do you do? You you give them stickers? Well, actually, uh, no. As people come in the door, they have to go to their appropriate precinct number and register to vote. But here at the Obama table, we're offering them cookies and chips. And we're just checking to make sure our supporters are showing up and we're giving them uh, little stickers. Essentially, you're bribing them to caucus uh, yes. for Obama. Yes. Let's see. Now, here's a, a sort of a bird's eye view of the caucus hall itself. There are more media, I think, here than there are actual caucus goers. But as you can see, those sitting in chairs in the front are Iowan voters who are here to caucus. And the, the master of ceremonies there is that guy in the suit. He's getting the Iowan voters ready to uh, ready to begin. It's just a little bit after 6:30, and then all along the edge there uh, is where observers and media are uh, to observe what takes place uh, here in the outer caucuses. I have to say, one of the things that really uh, surprises me is what a media circus this has really turned into. I mean, there are more members of the media and more observers here, I think, than there are actual I Iowan caucus goers. Kids, I am incredibly excited. There's so much energy here, so much excitement. We're all here. We're all. All right, we had our first star sighting here at the uh, Iowa oh. caucus. This is Valerie Biden, Joe Biden's sister. Hello, Valerie. Hi, how are you? It's nice to meet you. Tell me what you're doing here tonight at the caucuses. Well, I've come around, first of all, to be informed to see how it works. Am I supposed to be looking at you or at the camera? Uh, camera's fine. Okay. I'm uh, uh, I'm here to uh, to talk to the men and women who have come to tell them why I think Joe should be president, which is that he's the right person at the right time with the right experience for the right job. Now, just three floors up from the Democratic caucus is the Republican caucuses, which are a much different deal, of course. No actual deliberation. Essentially, Republican voters show up and they vote on which candidate they support. As you can tell, it's a much tamer scene inside here than it is downstairs. Far fewer voters. What's your name, sir? Rob Christian. Rob, tell us uh, why you're supporting uh, Mayor Giuliani. <laughs> well, I think he's, he's overall the, the one that has a steady commitment, the leadership, and can get things done. Now, have you caucused before? Yes. Um, My first one was back in 1988. And how would you compare this year's caucus to years past? Well, it's a little bit different. Number one, I am uh, from a rural county up in north central Iowa, so this is my first first one in Des Moines. So right now all the different groups are caucusing together to do a sort of informal count for how many supporters each candidate has. Uh, we have Obama here in the front, Richardson's way there in the back, Hillary's folks are over here to the right. Um, and again, if each group has at least 60 supporters, then their candidate goes on and uh, becomes part of the final tally. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. That means the floodgates are open and it's persuasion time. So there's like these trenches between the groups where members are trickling out and trying to convince other groups to come in, other people to come into their group to boost up their percentages. She needs 40 more people to get another group. Who does? We only need 13. So if you know somebody over there, convince them to come over here. Come on, guys! We need six more people to make Edwards viable! Biden for Edwards!
Edwards. Richardson for Edwards. Come on over. We need six more. Six. I've actually seen one of my friends who, uh, his parents were over at Hillary, now over at Edwards. Edwards, one delegate. Obama, five delegates. Yeah. So the Democratic caucus just ended. Obama uh, got five of the delegates for this precinct. Edwards got two, and Hillary got three. Hillary got one, Hillary got three. Hillary got one, Hillary got three. The Republican caucus, about three flights of stairs, they were done long ago. Not a soul is left in this room. Uh, their, their process is a lot less messy than the one we just saw downstairs. So there it is. An insider's view of the Iowa caucus. You see a lot more of these videos on YouTube uh, from users all over the state. Check out youtube.com slash Iowa caucuses to see a whole collection of uh, videos from Iowa's very messy democratic yet pretty exciting caucus process. Reflections on your first Iowa caucus. It was pretty amazing. It was a very cool process. Very hands-on. A lot of yelling and shouting and people trying to convince each other. Um, and very cool to see like in uh, real people's lives, democracy happening uh, at a very tangible level. Really exciting. I have like tingles uh, of my on my back.